as the president of Wonka for Africa. I've been the past chairman of our faculty in Nigeria, faculty of National Postgraduate College, and also the past president, immediate past president of the Society of Family Physicians of Nigeria. And my name is Henry Lawson. I am a Ghanaian, and I actually train and I'm still in Ghana. I work with the West African College of Physicians, and I'm the current chair for the Ghana chapter. I am also the president-elect for Wonka Africa Region. I'm Dr. Anthony Obalala, the national president of the Association of General and Private Medical Practitioners of Nigeria, the family physician. I'm Elspeth Lech, working in Jogo area. As a lecturer and also as a, a family physician in the district called Provostor. And um, I'm a widow with two children uh, looking, uh, looking after registrars and interns. My role there is mainly training and also work as a doctor. The challenges of family medicine in Africa are many. We can only crystallize a few in a few seconds like this. First, we have uh, the challenge of recognition, which is gradually being overcome in some countries. But there are still some countries that do not see family medicine as a specialty of its own. Uh, but happily, many more nations are seeing that. Um, following up with that, there is a challenge of getting more countries to start postgraduate programs that will train family physicians um, after their graduation as medical doctors. And of course, perhaps one of the greatest challenges is having university departments of family medicine um, in most of our universities. Nigeria, that is a major challenge at the moment. At the postgraduate level, it's got full recognition. But at the undergraduate level, there are no departments. Then, of course, as an organization for Wonka, we have the challenge of membership. We still have too few members. There are basically, about seven member nations now, out of <coughs> close to what could have been 42 nations uh, in uh, sub saharan Africa. And uh, we're having that challenge to deal with. And uh, we also have the challenge of funds. Uh, it's an economic problem. Getting together to do so many things that we have to do. I think our first problem is the definition of what family medicine is. We have done some work within Africa to try and define what it means to us and not to what the Europeans or the Americans think. Generally, family medicine in Africa should have a lot of skills in broader um, based learning which would include clinical practice and research. Then the second thing is to build capacity, to have a, a cohort of well-trained physicians who will then carry the vision and train more uh, 
family physicians across uh, the continent. And I think that primarily is what we think of child Currently, we have few family physicians in Africa. We need to actually improve on training both at the undergraduate level and at the postgraduate level to have a critical mass of family physicians who are the front line um, physicians that we have to drive a veritable and a very effective healthcare delivery system. The challenges of family medicine is one, people have not yet accepted family medicine as a discipline, so it's actually quite difficult for us to make them understand our way forward into the system, but we are trying and we would like to see that in five years or ten years down the line that we have family medicine in the primary health care system. That's the first challenge. The second challenge is also to have the uh, stakeholders understand our role in the system because they think that we are just normal doctors like other people and which is actually not that easy. Uh, we have different roles as a family physician, not just a GP. We have to train, we have to do researches, coordinate some meetings and be an administrator and which is actually challenging because time distribution is quite a difficult thing in that part. And as a mother, it's actually real challenge because trying to understand the children's difficulties and then to do all this is a real challenge. The case strategy is first to get membership, to get many more nations to come into the corporate organization of Wonka so that we can have uh, more benefiting from the direction of the global movement of the World Organization of Family Doctors. Mm -hmm. um, we, to pursue that, we also need funding. We need to get more as acts together. If every member will contribute their own little bit, and we, then we could get some other support, I'm sure we'll be able to get the funds to accomplish what we have uh, to do. And um, of course, we need to get more nations as uh, the directions to develop uh, undergraduate and postgraduate programs to train family doctors. And at the national levels, we need the government to recognize the need for universal coverage that is managed by experts. And we think the experts in primary care, primary medical care, are the family physicians. So we need to produce more doctors on either in a full-scale study or at least some form of training in primary care through the, uh, the family medicine uh, programs that will help to create a crop of experts in adequate number for our member nations all over Africa to be able to correct the problem, the magnitude of the problem of the you know, health sector in Africa, which is at a dismal level in terms of the various indices, infant mortality, maternal mortality, and uh, uh, the problem burden of uh, chronic diseases, and even uh, acute diseases like malaria. We need to be able to confront these things with a good primary care uh, that is available universally. Wonka Africa has a bright future. Currently, there are just about seven registered members. We have 52 countries in Africa. We have lost the northern belt to uh, the eastern Mediterranean region. But that still leaves us about 40 countries. So if we have seven of them joining, it means we have close to 30 or more that we need we can mobilize to get them on board. When we do get them on board, it will expand our coast. We will have more people in. We can reach more people with our messages. We could even raise more revenue, support training, workshops across Africa, and have an identity as African family physicians. Actually, Wonka Africa is strategically placed because they are producing family doctors which are the bedrock of any meaningful healthcare system. So what we need to do is to have a lot of advocacy and let 
government and other organizations and other people that are concerned with health care that you resist actually take Wonka programs very seriously. It's the issue of advocacy. The future of Wonka Africa, it's a developing uh, organization, but I've seen it in three years line that it has improved quite a lot. And what I would like to see as a secretary in the Women's League is to increase more uh, memberships to this Wonka group and to also see that uh, the junior doctors uh, I accept the fact of family Oh. Uh -huh. 